<laughs> I'm very proud of the team, obviously. Um, very proud of this man sitting to my left. He was outstanding. He was inspired. And when you play a team of this calibre, with a team of our calibre, you need your goalkeeper to play well. And, you know, he was just world class tonight. I'm so happy for him. And we were almost, you know, a minute or two away from probably the greatest result in the club's history. Um, but, you know, if you keep giving the ball away as cheaply as we did, you know, it was just wave after wave. And in the end, you have to settle for, like, you know, we're just going to have to defend our box and, and try and see it out. And unfortunately for us, we couldn't. So there's so many things I'm, I'm happy with, but there's other sides of the game that we could have done a lot better. I also have to look at the referee and think the Martinez challenge on Kakoulis when he was breaking. He didn't even give a free kick for it. He never played the ball. He just took boards the middle away. And then we had a great chance on the counter with Bruno going down the left, which we'd worked on because United maybe two v two at times. And you know he's taken the shot on when really he should have you know crossed it and we had a great chance. But overall we were feeding off scraps, you know, and I'm, I'm disappointed with the. Our ball retention at times, but you know, so proud of the way they defended and, and defended the box and the goalkeeper. Perhaps even lucky to still be on the pitch. Well, you're asking me that question for a reason, like, you know, but I'm, I'm not sure it's, if it's a sending off, but it's it's clearly a, an obstruction. You know, Kaku was getting to the ball before him and possibly De Gea. So, look. <laughs> I might be clutching at straws, but you need some decisions to go for you, and we felt that at least it was a free kick. Ήταν τουλάχιστον φάουλ, ο κακολίτης. Yes, uh, uh, it's uh, it it is it is my best uh, performance. I have to I have to admit, and uh, I am very happy with that. Ήταν η καλύτερη ήταν η καλύτερη παρουσία στην καριέρα του, και θα πρέπει να παραδεχτώ αυτό. Can I just check? Are you a Manchester United fan? Mm, yes, I am. I am a Manchester United fan. <laughs> he, has, he hasn't shut up about it for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is as well, so... Neil, yeah, sorry, just quickly. Um, we spoke last week um, about how well you played then. And your keeper then made amazing saves. Um, what was Francis like when you, when you said to him, you'd be starting and you're going to get a chance to play against a team that you know, you're very fond of? Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> just trying to keep him grounded, you know, he's, he's only 23, I know he looks probably older than me, but he's only 23, he is waited his time, he's had to be patient because of the form of Fabiano, in pre-season he looked fantastic, you know, and <coughs> he's been patient and the opportunity come along, and I sat down with him yesterday, had a a brief chat with him about what I wanted from him and he has displayed that in spades. You know, I thought he was magnificent and he just excelled under the spotlight. I'm so happy for him because of all his hard work and has come to fruition. Now, I, we want him to kick on. He's a very talented goalkeeper and he's, he's displayed that tonight. So I'm very happy for him, very proud of him actually. I hope so. You know, some of them don't know the game yet, you know, the uh, nuts and bolts of the game. You can see that sometimes with the way they play. You know, we're trying to, you know, improve things slowly. We've made great strides in a short space of time. Um, but this experience, I have no doubt, will hopefully stand them in, in good stead. The whole Europa League challenge, you know, we came close to getting a draw in Sociedad and obviously tonight and, and last week. We are limited, we know that, we understand that. Um, but the players have, since I've came in, in March, have been fantastic. You know, we won the cup and qualified for the Europa League. So, so far, I couldn't ask much more from them, apart from being more consistent in our domestic league. But they're a really good bunch of boys to work for and work with. They drive me nuts, but that's par for the course. But, um, you know, a lot of them have. Uh, Done themselves really proud, and got a, I'm sure a huge inspiration from from tonight. You know, I've played here myself and been on the end of a few sort of chasings, you know, so I know how difficult it is out there. And you can see, I mean, I couldn't believe the team that Eric picked. You know, it's just so strong again. 
I'm thinking, there's a chance here, you know, make a few changes, but, you know, to play in that environment and play against the, the world-class players on show, it's fantastic for some of these young players. Yeah, look, it's not about money and how much players get paid and how much they cost. They cost that amount of money and they get paid that amount of money for a reason, because they're world-class players, you know, so I, I, I never think about that. I, I do know that on any given day you can beat a team, you know, or you can get a result. So the money doesn't figure in, into it. What I am is I'm very proud of my players. I'm gutted, you know, absolutely gutted that we didn't get a point from this, you know, because people would have been talking about that result for a long, long time. So it's a fine line that we haven't crossed tonight, but we must learn from it. And um, there's still two games to go in the group, and with Sheriff on three points, we're still in touching distance to possibly finish third. But that means we have to beat Sociedad in two weeks' time, which will be our main focus for this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, is it a great night for the club in terms of the profile? Yes. In terms of the performance at times, yes. But for me, like not to get the result and lose it in that fashion, it's, it's hard to take. Excellent, you know, real challenge. So, coach, how do you feel about the fact that a salary of one Manchester United player is Uh, the salary of the whole squad of Omonia and despite that uh, we managed to stay until the end in, in the game and we make Man United feel nervous. If we'd got the draw, it would look they were beating Barcelona. Yeah, just for the the magnitude of the, the, the disparity between the two teams, you know. Um, so... <coughs> That's why I'm good at, you know, I'm good at for the players as well. Like, bottom line is, over the course of the game, let's be realistic, Man United deserve to win, which you'd expect anyway. But for my players to put on a display like that was beyond my expectation. Um, and I just, I'm a bit, little bit disappointed with our play in the final third. We give the ball away for too easy, too cheaply. And then we had to just sort of settle of putting a line across and say, right, can we see this out now? And that's not the way I want my teams to play, but sometimes you have to sort of dig in and just see it out. But, um, yeah, to come here, and, and I never thought I would coach here as a manager, you know, after you know some great times at Celtic and, and other clubs. But it's been a real thrill, you know, and Mr Ten Hag's an absolute gentleman, and we played against you know one of the best teams in England, so we can take a lot of memories from that. But as I say, I like winning. I don't like losing, so you can understand I'm a little bit gutted about it as well. Okay, thank you, Chef.